This is going to be the shortest part of this quadrilogy, or whatever you call things with four entries. But today we're going to look at Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class High Octane Bumblebee! And out of all my bumblebees, this is the only one I haven't looked at yet. Besides the one for an upcoming movie. Out of all the bumblebees in the movie shelf, he is definitely the black sheep out of all of them, considering he has the built-in arm gun thing. And he's also inverted colors, so that's pretty neat. And I guess that rings true for even the actual movie designs, because nobody really talked about this design at all. So I guess you could say he literally is the black sheep of the bumblebees. A confusing thing about Age of Extinction Bumblebee is how come these two toys were never put together in a two-pack? Speaking of multi-packs, there was a Bumblebee 3-pack which featured High Octane Bumblebee, but I sold off that reissue that came in this 3-pack last year because I still have the original, obviously, and I still prefer it because it's the correct yellow. Then that exact same reissue was featured in a 2-pack in Buzzworthy Bumblebee with Studio Series Stinger, which I never got because obviously I have Stinger, even though mine is broken. And uh, it would have been nice if we got a brand new mold for High Octane Bumblebee, but obviously that's for down the line. Obviously Bumblebee doesn't come with anything, so what he does to compensate that is he has built an arm cannon, which works with the power of friction missiles. So what you do is you fire it with the press of your finger. It's absolutely a treat to see two Bumblebees that transform into two classic Camaros, and I totally don't have a third one. Well, you know what? time it is you gotta do the articulation buzzword for the video so you get your bumblebee um well he's already technically looking up as in that the head motion that's as far up as it goes you look all the way down make him look sad Ooh. you make him like you can bop to some bops um, for his arm, you can move his arm up with the arm, with the transformation joints, or you could use the ratcheted arm joint for some reason. I don't know why they ratcheted it, but so tight even however many years ago 2014 was. So then obviously you could rotate his arm around, but it, it's very much a pain. Uh, you can swivel at his elbow. He also has ratcheted elbows, which isn't as bad as the shoulders. Uh, these parts like to move a lot. Um, yeah, oh, and also the doors are, are loose. I've had this toy for a long time. The leg goes out that far. It goes back that far, thanks to the backpack. The arm, the legs, I mean, not the arm. The legs go out pretty far. Um, thigh swivel. You know, he's got really tiny thighs. Obviously, they didn't, they didn't go back all the way because of how they're shaped. The knee. It's a 90, but it, it looks very, very silly. The uh, feet, you can move them down, you move them up, and that's it. Um, actually, the, I just realized something, so, um, the instructions, I don't even know what happened to them, I don't have them anymore, you're supposed to put these leg parts up, but thanks to Vangelis, I put these down, and that's just how I've transformed this guy for years, and, uh, if it wasn't for that video, I probably wouldn't have this figure right here, so... Actually, that's not even the case. I would have gotten it anyway if I didn't watch that video, but that video really enticed me to actually get it, so. So, yeah. Actually, the first figures I got for Age of Extinction was this Bumblebee and Crosshairs. So, yeah, this is the little history for you. These are the first two figures I got for Age of Extinction back in 2014. Like, I literally begged my mom to take me to Walmart at night just for these two and uh well actually it was for the whole toy line i guess but it, these two were there so i don't know now we're here okay uh, next part of the video on to comparisons here's high octane bumblebee with the rest of the main cast at age of extinction besides the humans and besides the romeo and juliet law 
Referencing Creo, here is High Octane Bumblebee with Strafe. Next, here's High Octane Bumblebee with the progression of his design. So obviously the second rendition of Age of Extinction Bumblebee and Last Night Bumblebee. Next, here's High Octane Bumblebee next to Stinger, even though I technically already showed them together, but I don't care, it's my video. Next, here is High Octane Bumblebee next to Last Night Barricade, and the justification for their pairing in this video is because they're both from the final two movies, so... I mean, might as well show them together. Lastly, here is High Octane Bumblebee with the rest of the Beehive, and I completely forgot Funko Pop Bumblebee because I legit forgot... Yeah, we gotta crack the knuckles for this one, I just transformation time for High Octane Bumblebee, and this is where the big criticism for this toy was when it came out was that the transformation was very samey which I don't blame them because it is very samey to a uh, Battle Blaze Bumblebee and a uh, Dark Moon Deluxe Bumblebee and um except obviously it's a whole new sculpt but the same transformation so let's do it so um obviously you get the feet move them all the way in so they look like that just like on Dark of the Moon Bumblebee, just like on High Octane Bumblebee, strain the arms out. Um, move the backpack down, take off the whole chest piece so it's forward. And the only difference that this figure has is that you gotta move the collar pieces and then you gotta move these in place. So yeah, you do that. And then also another difference with this, actually no, it's not really a difference, actually never mind what I'm saying. But you gotta bend the knees. Then you strain the backpack out, put it in place, and then you put the legs in. Bada bing bada boom. And then only for this figure, where you have to do this first, you have to put the arms in first, because with Battle Blades Bumblebee and Dark and Moon Bumblebee, you could have already done the doors. But for this one, you really you can't close the doors yet because you have to like secure it from down here. So then, now you can close the doors. And then you put the wheels in and then make sure they're fully in all the way. Oh my god, that kind of sound like it cracked or something. And uh, there you go, now you got him as a car. And look at all that paint scratches and sharpie marks. Um, you could tell this toy was well loved. So, yeah, hopefully we get a new one at some point, which would be very nice as i've grown older i've grown to truly appreciate this car mode for what it is compared to me in 2014 where i was very disappointed because it wasn't a new camaro and i kind of wish he was this camaro for the whole movie because it would have been unique and i probably would have turned around to it a lot sooner and of course once again it's always a treat to see classic camaros next to each other even if the paint is coming off on both of them i it's it's just nice okay it's just very nice on to comparisons, here's High Octane Bumblebee with Last Night Hound and Optimus Prime. Next, here's Age of Extinction Crosshairs and the second version of Bumblebee. Next, here's Studio Series Stinger. Next, here's Age of Extinction Strafe and Studio Series Drift. Last but not least, here is High Octane Bumblebee with some Last Night Flair with Barricade and Bumblebee. So that's Age of Extinction High Octane Bumblebee and that naming convention is probably the best thing about this toy besides the toy itself because it's distinct and it makes you think of this specific version of Bumblebee and it definitely helps that his color scheme is inverted and he turns into a completely separate Camaro that isn't connected to any of the previous ones he's turned into besides well being called a Camaro and obviously his wrist cannon thing which no other Bumblebees have and it definitely helps him. Also, I guess might as well mention that he is sharpied all over the place, which I don't plan to clean because I did that long, long time ago. So, yeah, that's, pre that's pretty much it. Uh, I have no idea when I'm going to look at another Bumblebee, which I hopefully it's soon. And not in two months or something. So, uh, yeah, I guess... Now we do the end screen. So do the whole YouTube shebang of liking the video, subscribing notifications on, and sharing this to your peers because otherwise I won't grow. And as they say, hate the game, not the player, but that's such a cop-out answer, so. 
Also in the description below is my second channel and my Mercari account, which I will continue to beat down on the head that it exists until everything is bought off of it. So uh, yeah, I'll see you next time when we end this quadrilogy thing with Studio Series Drift.